Anti Comic Guy here with another Comicsgate campaign review made possible by CG Tracker, the best web page on the internet for tracking all Comicsgate campaigns, past, present, and future. Go to creatorgo.com forward slash CG to see every campaign in the Comicsgate community that we know about. And with that being said, let's continue on with our review of. The Tome of Reckoning by Dionysius. This is a horror fantasy road trip set during an impending apocalypse. Our time of reckoning is at hand. All right, we do have a video, so let's go ahead, check that out. And with luck, it will not suck. The end of the world is upon us once more. As the veil between realms grows thin, a war will rage. Good versus evil, and everything in between. Which side will you choose? And will your name be forever etched in the Tome of Reckoning? Okay, that didn't have any audio except for, you know, what I added to it. But no, that, that was a decent video. I like that. That was 30 seconds. It gave me an idea of the artwork inside, told me a little bit about the story. That was probably the best promo video I've seen in quite a while. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Dionysios is doing. Uh, they have $1,245 at the time of this recording and 23 backers. They are only about halfway to their goal of $2,500. Now, I just like to remind everybody that making a comic book is not cheap. I mean, when you're talking about entry level prices, artwork is gonna cost you $150 a page. You're gonna be paying another $100 for coloring, another $50 for lettering, and you're gonna be paying $50 a page for the writing. And that means that a creator has to invest $350 for every page of a comic book they want to produce. So Dionysia is asking you to cover $2,500 in expenses just to go ahead and get this book done is not a lot of money. And I think that this deserves a lot more than just 23 backers. But you know what? Proof is in the pudding. Let's go ahead and take a look at the review and let's prove that Dionysius' book is worth the $2,500 goal that they've already set for themselves. The Tome of Reckoning Issue 1 is where it all kicks off. A giant adventure spanning tens of thousands of years, multiple dimensions, monsters and gods, heroes and villains, all vying for dominance for whatever is left of this world when the dust settles. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the artwork here. Uh, the penciling looks good. Uh, the penciling inks actually do look good. Coloring, coloring's not that great. But, you know, I've seen worse. Oh, I have I seen worse. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. That's pretty nice. That That's some pretty good work right there. Okay. And again, the coloring, you know, it's... You know, the interior coloring is mediocre at best, but... You know, the penciling and the inking does look good. Yeah, I, I like this. The, the penciling and inking definitely looks really solid. Uh, but that coloring, again, the coloring is not up to the same standard as the pencils and ink. So the coloring definitely needs a little bit of work. But for, you know, their very first issue, which probably is going to continue to improve with every issue thereafter, I think this actually looks really, really good. Yeah, and you notice that the coloring, when you don't have to actually do a whole lot of coloring, when it's not going crazy or anything, it, it looks better in panels like this one here at night, where it's not getting too crazy. And hey, we got the dead walking. Okay, again, this looks okay. It's not great. It's It looks good, though. It, this is pretty solid. At least the interior lighting for the diner is actually consistent with what a diner should look like as far as the coloring is concerned. The Toma Reckoning follows a group of misfits as they race to save humanity from impending doom, all the while fighting a two-front war against shadowy government forces and ancient evil from beyond. Okay. Alright. This this does look good. I gotta say, I like it. Uh, the Toma Reckoning definitely looks like a book that we should be lending some of our support to. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. This is 
the black and white version of the colored image that we saw above. And tell me this doesn't look better. Look how nice this black and white penciling actually is versus the colored version that we saw above. This is way, way better. This just goes to prove the coloring that we're getting is not up to par. It is not as good as the black and white pencils in the book. So I really hope that they're able to improve on that coloring as we go. So yeah, we reached the bottom of the page. Let's go take a look at the perks along the side. Uh, get wrecked for $45. What does that include? With this perk, you get both covers, cover A exclusive to this campaign, set of four two inch stickers, set of four three inch pins, eight and a half inch by 11 inch poster of cover A by Dionysios, comics mailed in a rigid Gemini mailer. Oh, okay, so he's promising a three on the mailing already at the beginning of the campaign. Good, good. Uh, we've got this part here with pin for 15 bucks. You get cover A, Cover B, four two-inch stickers, all mailed in a Gemini mailer. I'm good with that. You get a sketch in this one. Total Reckoning. This is where you get everything with cover A, cover B, stickers, set of pins, postcards, ink page, and of course an eight and a half inch by 11 poster. And then we have here our $300 perk. And looks like all the same. Both covers, set of pins, set of stickers, set of postcards, and uh, double page spread from issue one. Okay. And only one of those are going out. Again, it looks good. Uh, the artwork is really good, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's at industry standards, in some ways above industry standards. The coloring... Uh, it depends on the page and the panel, but the coloring does leave a lot to be desired. I think the coloring can be better. The coloring is definitely uh, where things are falling short as far as this campaign is concerned. But no, this looks really good. This looks really good. And the fact that it only has 23 backers, that's criminal. Guys, come on. Come on, Comicsgate. Get over here and get the Tome of Reckoning. It's here. It's on Indiegogo. It's waiting for you. Why aren't you picking it up? Is it because it made you mad? Don't be mad at the Tome of Reckoning. The Tome of Reckoning is awesome. Be happy. Put a smile on your face. Put a smile on Dionysius' face. And go ahead and back this campaign today. Because like I said, I mean, even if you only go with a $15 perk, I mean, you're still getting two copies of the comic book and a couple of stickers. That's worthwhile. And again, it's only 15 bucks. Oh, sure, it's going to probably be 25 by the time you get done with shipping and handling, but that's well within Comics Gate range. So, yeah, I, I'm going to say yes. Go ahead, support the Tome of Reckoning. I'll put a link in the description below. And yeah, back this book. But even if you decide not to back this book for some crazy, absurd reason, I hope that you do have a good week, that you like and subscribe this video and follow me on social media, except for Parlor, because Parlor sucks. This is your Uncle Inch High Comic Guy, hoping that you have a wonderful day as long as you get the Tome of Reckoning, and if you don't, uh, well, at least have a day. Is that a little mean to me? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Did you support the Tome of Reckoning? You didn't? Well, then I guess I don't care, do I? Bye.